Hi everyone. Oh well, George is six, 16 weeks old tomorrow and <clears throat> I can't really get my head around that. <laughs> Time seems to have gone so fast, I really don't like it. He's asleep at the moment. Um, I've not long been back from school. Had a quick tidy round and uh, he's snoring. I'm going to wake him up after I've done this and pump and feed. So yeah, we've all been all right. Obviously, you know that he's had the chicken pox. And so with Bobby and Frankie, everyone's had it now. Bobby didn't get it as bad as um, Georgie and Frankie though. He just got like a handful of spots on his head, around his hairline, like a few random ones on his body. But um, they're all like scabbed now. Everything's cool. So, and it's not bothered him too much either, to be honest with you. Last weekend, I um, got my first period, proper one since I had Georgie, and I felt really, really sad about that. It just seems like everything's going so fast and I really, really don't want it to. I just want time to slow down a little bit now and, you know, I'm enjoying every minute with him as a baby and then he'll be growing up like Frankie and Bobby and the girls and then I'm so excited to see what it's going to be like when he's older as well, whether he's going to be like the girls or the boys or, you know, his temperament, what it's going to be like. At the moment, he's still really settled. Um, feed him on demand. <clears throat> he goes to sleep, as I said before, at like 8ish and then sometimes I'll wake for another feed but then he sometimes he'll just sleep till 1 or 3 and then I feed him again in the morning. Um, he's he's a little angel <laughs> um, I just don't ever want to stop feeding him and you know I'm no way gonna, I know that he's 16 weeks and you can start weaning around this time but I'm not going to be weaning him anytime soon and I'm not going to breastfeed him for as long as humanly possible. Um, I don't care. <clears throat> I'm just going to feed him till he wants to stop, basically. With the feeding, he's, uh, like I said, he's still doing really well with that. I'm unsure of his weight because um, I've not weight, got him weighed since the last time I told you that I'd got him weighed. I think I'm going to probably get him done on Friday. So we'll see what he weighs. I don't think he's put on loads and loads, but he's fitting into three to six months clothes now. He's quite long with it. So I think he's in proportion. He still seems so tiny to me and um, around the time I got my period he kind of was being really fussy on my boob and um, like having a couple of sucks coming off and having a cry and after I'd soothed him down a bit and sometimes I have to prop my boob up a bit <laughs> he's fine and also when I'm feeding him now he likes to claw at my chest and he really grabs me it's quite sore so I have to like get a blanket and put it sometimes I have to wrap it around his hand just to like keep it contained a little bit I think I'm going to get him a mummy necklace so that you know it gives him something to grab hold of. In that respect, with the feeding wise, everything is a okay, and um, yeah, Bobby's like going to be two next month, so I don't really just don't know where time goes. You know, he he's coming on loads, he's talking loads. He says police car, he says peace car. <laughs> he's so cute. I, I love listening to him talk away to me. So. And also next month it's my birthday and I'm going to be 30, yes, 30, I can't believe it, I still feel like I'm about 20. Um, Lee and I are going to go away for the weekend to York on the Friday and the Saturday, uh, I can't wait, I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss the kids loads and it's going to kill me like not being able to feed Georgie for those two days but I'm going to go out with my pump and my little tubs to put the milk in and pump while I'm there every two to three hours and um, keep my supply built up although I do know that it might dwindle a little bit because a pump is no more is no way near as reliable as the baby suckling away on your breast so um, I'm just going to keep up with it and keep cracking with it because I'm going to have loads of milk going on while I'm there because obviously I'm expressing a lot now I'm producing more so I'm just going to need to keep on top of it um, <clears throat> yeah we're, we're staying in a hotel Lee's like sorted it all out, he's got me a four post bed because I always wanted a four post bed and uh, yeah, going to go and have a look around the York dungeons and just spend some nice time together really, I couldn't think of anything else I'd want to do, I did really want a party but I can't be bothered to sort it all out to be honest with you, I've got enough going on with the kids and everything, I'll let you know when I've got Georgie Wade on Friday how much she weighs and everything, so I'll find out then, it excites me to think what he's gained, <laughs> that I'm doing a good job or not. What's up, mate? What? Do you want to come sit on my knee? Come on, then. <laughs> Here's Bob. 
Bobby Boo. Say hi, yeah. Say hi. I'm Bobby. Sit there. That's it. It's Nelly's nap time, so we're going to get you to bed soon, aren't we? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi. Gone shy. Yeah. So I guess I'm going to get off now and uh, sort this little dude out and wake Georgie up. I'm sure there were more things that I've, I was meaning to say, but if it comes back to me, I'll just add it on. Bye. Okay? See you all soon, everyone. Hope you're all okay. Bye. <laughs> say bye.